Hey everyone, my name is Michael Oy uh, from Implementation Specialist. Uh, in today's video, we'll walk through how to set up your uh, outgoing emails. Um, so we'll start off with uh, just walking through some setup and configuration involved with getting your email set up. Um, we'll also go through um, some examples. So we'll walk through how to compose an email directly from BC. Um, and then we'll also go through how to automate um, your outgoing documents to your clients, so to your customers, vendors, and and so on. So <clears throat> starting at NBC here, the first thing that we want to do is search for our assisted setup guide. Um, your assisted setup is actually super helpful. So once we get into your setup page, you'll see a list of different uh, functions and tracks within BC that BC will help you um, set up as a guide. Uh, the one that we are looking for specifically is set up your outgoing email. And so you'll see that it's already completed, but we can walk through it again here. Um, notification here, so we'll hit yes. <clears throat> And you'll get this little pop-up window with your setup email guide. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit next. Uh, BC will present you with three different options that you can choose from. Um, you can choose a centralized Microsoft 365 mailbox. So you can set up uh, a mailbox for your AP, for AR, and, and so on. Uh, your second option here is your current user. So the way this, uh, this option works is if you do select current user, whichever user is currently signed in, whichever user is uh, posting that invoice, sending out that document, um, it will send it from their uh, user email. And then your last option here is to set up an SMTP uh, mailbox to send out emails. Um, so for this example, let's, uh, let's use current user. So I'll hit next. <clears throat> Um, and you'll see this notification again, everyone will send email messages from their own email account. So we'll hit next again. Um, of course, you'll see uh, BC will pick up the current user that I'm signed in through and you'll see my email address here, michael.oy at iscorp.biz. And then this is set as my default. So before we do finish this email setup, we can send a test email. And we'll go ahead and select my email here. So we'll get this notification that the test email has been sent. And so if I go over to my email, we'll see here that the email setup was done correctly. And you can see this test email that I did receive from BC. Okay. Perfect. So once we finish the email setup, um, we can actually view all of the email accounts um, that are currently set up in our environment. So if I just search for email accounts and navigate over to that page, you'll see again, um, since we did just complete the email setup for my current user, you'll see my current user and email address listed here. You can also add uh, any additional email accounts uh, through this page as well, or you can walk through with a different user um, in that assisted setup guide as well. <clears throat> so that is pretty much it as far as setting up and configuring your system for your outgoing emails. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to show here is um, just the ability to compose an email directly from BC. So to do so, all you need to do is search for compose and email. Um, you'll see that task pop up here. We can go ahead and click into that and we will uh, be presented with a compose an email window here. So you can see because we do already have our outgoing email configured, my from send user is my current user, which is my, my personal email address here. And then you can specify who you want to send this email to. Um, <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and put in my email here as well, and I can show you the um, sent email once it is complete. So we can put in a subject here. 
<clears throat> and we can put in our uh, email body message here as well. Okay. Um, from BC, you do also have the option to add or attach any files, any documents, um, whatever it may be. For example, if you click add files, you'll be presented with um, uh, this window here to select or drop any files necessary. Uh, once you're complete or finished with composing your email, you can go ahead and hit send email. And just to confirm and verify, here is the email that was just sent over. So you can see my email message listed here. <clears throat> okay, so again, you do have the option to manually compose and write an email directly from BC once you do have that outgoing email configured and set up. Um, the last example here that I wanted to show everyone is how to set up and configure your system to uh, to automate those outgoing client facing documents. So our example that we'll use today um, will be for your customers specifically. So if I navigate over to my customers list and we'll use uh, a datum corporation as an example, but if I drill into the customer card for a datum, um, and in the ribbon at the very top, if you select customer and document layouts, this is where you can set up your specific uh, document usage as well as the specific report layouts and send to emails for your customer facing documents. So if we take a look at this first line, for example, uh, we have invoice selected, but you do have several options to choose from so you can set up um, and automate the sending of these emails for your invoices, for your confirmations, for credit memos, statements, and so on. Um, so we'll keep this first one as invoice. The next step is to select the layout of which sales invoice you would like to use, right? So in this case, we'll select report ID 1306 for our standard sales invoice. Um, and then the next step here is to specify the customer's email address that you want to email this invoice to. Um, I've just specified here my own uh, personal email address, so we'll keep that here and use that as an example. And then, of course, you can see this second sample here is for your customer statement. So you can see your report ID and the send to email here. And then uh, for any further lines below, you can um, set up um, any additional documents that you would like to send to this customer. OK, so we'll use our invoice as an example. So once we have that document layout um, configured, we can go ahead and close out of here. The other setting that we can go ahead and uh, uh, configure here is your document sending profile. So the key benefit to your document sending profile is it does automate um, the email action for you. So when you post an invoice um, or hit post and send on an invoice, uh, your document sending profile will automatically tell BC to email that invoice over to the customer rather than you having to manually um, select email and uh, send. Um, during that process. So <clears throat> your document sending profile, if I just drill into this list here, you can see I've already set one up um, that I've called email here. And the key uh, configuration within this is, of course, just your code and description. Um, I did set it as a default. If you hover over this field, you can see this default will make this document sending method the default for all of your customers. Uh, so you can choose to toggle this on or off if you would like to. Uh, the main configuration here within your document sending profile is your email field. I do have that field set to yes, and then the email attachment to be shown as a PDF when sending out um, your client facing document. OK, so once you do have that document sending profile set up, just make sure that it is attached uh, within your customer card.
Now, once all of that setup is completed, uh, we can walk through an example here. So let's use a sales invoice as an example. So I'll just go to my list of my posted sales invoices and use one of these uh, posted documents as an example. Uh, we can see this posted invoice here. Um, and so if I just hover or highlight this first invoice, I can hit print and send. Um, and then we have this option here to send by email. So if I click send by email, <clears throat> BC will go ahead and generate um, this outgoing email for us. So you can see once we get this pop-up window, you'll see my from email address will automatically populate my email address. And based off of that document layout setup that we've done within the customer card, you can see it will pick up um, the send to email address automatically as well. And then here you can see the default subject based off of um, our company name as well as the sales increase number. Um, based on the report layout that you select, your email body message will also have a default message, which you can then uh, either come in and review and make any additional changes if necessary. Um, but you will have your default message here. And then your last um, bit down below, you'll see your attachment will automatically be uh, populated here with that sales invoice that we have selected. So everything here is already uh, um, done for you based off of all of our setup and configuration that we did uh, before sending this email out. So the last step here is to simply just hit send email and that email will be sent over. And I can bring over this email here to verify that it was sent over correctly. So you can see here, um, email was sent over to my email address. You can see the attachment of the sales invoice as well as your email uh, message here. Um, and then just to take a quick look at our invoice, I can go ahead and open that and show that here as well. And you can see here, this is what our invoice report layout looks like. So you could see your customer's information, our company information, some other standard information, such as your payment terms. And then down below, you'll see um, uh, your sales lines here and your totals. Okay. So that was it for today's video. Um, so we walked through how to set up and configure your outgoing emails, um, how to set up your email accounts. Um, we walked through an example of composing a manual email directly from BC. We also walked through some customer card setups to automate your outgoing uh, client facing documents as well. So setting up your document layouts. Uh, configuring and selecting your document sending profiles within your customer card. And then we did end off with um, an example of posting and sending or emailing your sales invoice.